So today I decided to make a video about my ideas on gender, I guess, because it does for some reason. Um, not really in Portugal, but in America and in Canada and in other countries, it has become a very popular and very important topic of debate and discussion that is gender. Weird, right? Because I thought we were we already knew what it was. But apparently no. Apparently gender can be more than male or female. Because biology doesn't really matter, right? It's about what you want rather than what it is. And um Although this video is not meant to offend anyone, really, I really don't care if you consider yourself male, female, non-binary, whatever you want, like, whatever floats your boat, really. It's just what I think about that. So, um, I think I have to make something that I think it's very important to say, that is, it doesn't matter what you think you are, it matters what you are. If you are born a male, you have an XX chromosome, or in this case an XY chromosome. If you are born a female, you have an XX chromosome. This doesn't change. This, this is what makes you, and you are not in control of changing any of this. If you are a male, a male again, you have an XY chromosome, and if you are a female, you have an XX chromosome. So you are either a male or a female. What you decide later in life, based on how you feel in your body and what you want in general to be very well, make the choice that you want about gender and about what you think it's right and wrong, about what you want for yourself, sure. Although, do not think that because you have now chosen to become non-binary, which is to say that you are neither male or female. Nonsense. Yes, you are. You are either male or you are female. Because you don't psychologically identify as male or female makes even less sense, because you wouldn't know what not being male or female feels like since you are, by default, one of those. You are born either male or female. To say that you are neither is weird, because you don't know what that feels like, because you can't know, because you are born one of those. So, it's just really weird, and I, I hope this trend doesn't... Because, and I call it trend, I don't, again, I don't mean to offend, but... To my knowledge, this is something new. Isn't it? It's something with, yes, a few years by now. But was this really a problem in the past? Was this really something that was life-changing, worth fighting for, worth making laws of itself over? Nonsense. Weird. Is it worth literally... <laughs> um, now in Canada, they have a weird politics policy of forcing you to call the name, or in this case, the pronoun, he, she, them. Weird pronouns. Stuff that you would expect to hear. Stuff, for example, in plural, that you are now wondering if the person you are talking to as multiple personality disorder, them, who, <laughs> you and how many people, like, it's, it's weird, it's a plural, as long as I'm, an, as long as I understand it, I don't know if in the English grammar it means more than that, but it's just really weird and awkward to listen to people that identify as non-binary and other things. Um... Again, I have no idea what it feels like to not belong, um, to feel that you don't belong in your body, to feel that you are not in the right place or whatever, that you are neither 
a male or a female because I am comfortable where I am. I am a, ma a male and I identify as a male because it doesn't matter what you think. It matters what biology is. It is weird again. You are either XY or, X or XX. What you think, what your psyche tells you, what your wishful thinking tells you, means nothing. And I think it's harmful for people to think that just because they can now, by law, in some countries, identify as non-binary, for example, as that makes any sense by logic, because you can't be a non-binary that would mean that your chromosomes would not be what they are, and that is impossible because they are what they are. That's what makes you a human being. So these people are what, not biologically human? It makes no sense. And I'm sorry if I sound aggressive about this topic. It's because it has become such a main thing. And I've watched it grow over the years. And it's kind of annoying because it's now everywhere. It's now part of the culture, nearly everywhere in Canada, in America, are probably the two that I'm aware of, the two main countries where this is more of an issue or this is more talked to, but it's slowly getting talked here and it's slowly <laughs> crossing this, the, the sea and coming to Europe. And I can already see it in university and I can already hear the conversations about this topic. And I don't understand. I understand that you don't feel um, well in your body. That's okay. That's probably terrible. But to wishfully say that you are not neither a man nor a female. No, you are. You definitely are. Otherwise, you are not a human being. I mean, what are you if not a man or a female? A man or a woman? male or female, XX or XY, what are you, if not this? Like, really? And I understand that wishful thinking makes people feel good about themselves and about... It's an illusion of power, in my opinion. It's because I say so, therefore I am because I don't like what I see, or because I don't like what I am, or I am in the wrong body, or whatever. No, I can by force, because if it's going to law, to make law, in a few countries it's going by force, especially if more people don't agree with it, like it's the case in Canada, and in America. And it's weird, it's just annoying in some cases, because Anyone must be respected. This is very um, it's basic human value. Just Everyone has the right to belong and the right of being respected and not, being, um, not losing any kind of power um, in society just for the choices that they make. Unless, of course, the choices are completely um, morally wrong, I guess. Um, in the views of society, in the culture, but this is not obviously the case. This is just something that people um, think or are. Because, again, I don't think that they are this. They are not non-binary, not biologically. They are. They may identify as non-binary psychologically, but no, that doesn't make it so. Your biology remains the same. It's like there's someone now starting to identify as a cat. Your biology won't change just because psychologically you identify yourself as another animal. It means nothing. This Maybe I'm misinformed about this. I'm, I'm not completely sure, although I've seen many debates and I've read what these terminologies mean. And it still makes no sense to me. It's kind of, it's really nonsense, actually. Um, so, if you are, or if you identify as non-binary and any other subtypes, I guess, um, other types, um, then don't feel attack, attacked. You can write in the comments what you think and what you are, and what you think you are, but... 
This is probably my point, that is, it doesn't matter what you think, it matters what you are. It's really that simple, and it shouldn't be so complex as to making law out of this, as to forcing people to use the pronouns that... And it's ridiculous because the pronouns get so extensive, like there are so many of them, and then you have to remember them to everyone, really. No, no way, I'm not doing that. So, I think that this is where I will end it. Don't be offended by this, because I've seen how people get offended when it comes to their personal beliefs and their personal thoughts. So, thank you. ...made up gender that they've got. If, if I don't know what the process around that is, then we don't have a gender interaction. We don't have okay, okay. a handshake. Okay, so, so, so while you put your finger on an essential weakness in the philosophy, it's like, first of all, the idea that gender identity is independent of biological sex is, is insane. Yeah, it's it's wrong. It's, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. the, the scientific data are, they're not only clear, they're clear beyond dispute. It, it's as bad as claiming that the world is flat, in my estimation. <laughs> now, having said that, there are masculine women and there are feminine men. If you look at temperament, for example. Mm -hmm. So on average, men are less agreeable and lower in neuroticism than women. And so they're lower in negative emotion and they're lower in compassion and empathy. They're more, they're more competitive. Now, the differences there aren't massive. So for example, if you take a random man and a random woman from the population and you guessed that the woman was more agreeable than the man, you'd be right 60% of the time, but wrong 40%. Yeah. And if you took a random man and a random woman out of the population and you guessed that the woman was more agreeable than the man, you'd be wrong 40% of the time. So there's a lot of overlap. And so you can have men with quite feminine temperaments and women with quite masculine temperaments. But that, but, but they still have all sorts of other differences that characterize sure. them. Okay, now, yeah, so, just one so there is biological grounding. There is variability. And then there is a sociological element, which is what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. But, and so... So, but what you put your finger on is the, and this is something the damn postmodernists agree among themselves, is that, okay, let's say that gender is performative. All right, so that makes it into a kind of agreed upon social game. Hmm. But that's the thing, it's an agreed upon social game. Yeah. You don't identify, you don't adopt the role because it suits how you feel. You adopt the role so that you can use it as a tool to maneuver with in society. I mean, that's why the, the transsexual guys often come out as extraordinarily feminine. You know, they wear dresses, yeah. they wear high heels, they put on makeup. None of that's biologically instantiated, or, or if it is, it's, it's only to a limited degree. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but they adopt those rules because people know how to play the game. Yeah. And so the thing about identity is that identity is a, is a set of tools that you use to operate with in the world. And if those tools don't function, you don't have a, a functional identity. Well, yeah, it isn't just something yeah. that you put on because you feel that way. It has to be something that other people know how to respond to or you will become completely alienated.